How's it going guys? It is Ryan here and welcome to a brand new video and today this is something different and it's going to be a mini series that I'm going to be doing till the end of this game before 2016 comes out and we'll be as the manor and we're going to try and score points on some of the trickiest tracks that the manor can do. So the first one we're doing is Austria where funny enough a few weeks ago Pascal Verlein scored a point so we're going to see if we can replicate that or even go better than that with this car using the F1 2016 mod which is available in the link in the description below of this video on F1 2015. So we're in qualifying on it and I've literally dropped the setup down completely to like a time trial setup just to give us some speed down the straight as we're going to be breaking now into turn two. Very tricky airpin this one and we've got a 16-7 first sector which isn't too bad actually I've got to say with this car on there. So driving as Pascal Verne as I've mentioned and the modder here has only bought in the 20 cars and haven't got house in this mod, which is unfortunate. But on that, I will apologise as well if there's any like freezes in this quality run because I had an issue with my recording software for qualifying. So, but it's not. It's uh, was fine in the race. So I do apologise if it does at any stage of this run freeze at points. So one to 31, nine middle sector, not too bad. 48.7 overall, it's not too shabby. On there, so we're going to put the front brake bias up now because this car is absolutely terrible with its brakes. The slightest touch of uh, brake and you will have a moment of lockup. Coming across the line we go and it's going to be a 110-2, which isn't too bad for us in a manner, but we're gonna be shelved off, I believe, by the rest of the pack cross. There's, there is Magnussen putting a 109-9. And that was our only qualifying that we did. And as you can see, we got P6 in qualifying, which I was really shocked and even shocking more is we're only half a second off pole with Hamilton getting pole with a 109.6 with Reichen in second and Rosberg completing the top three but the big surprise is Kevin Magnussen in P4 with a 109.9 only two attempts off pole which really shocked me I've got to say with this mod on there with some familiar names as always in the top 10 as always and Marcus Ericsson another one a big surprise in 10th place but no more jit chat we're going to be getting straight to the race now for the Austrian Grand Prix Welcome one and all to Spielberg for today's race, the Austrian Grand Prix. The circuit is owned by Red Bull. One might think this will give them an advantage. Only time will tell. As the engineers make their last inspections of the cars, let's take a look at today's grid order for the race. So here we are then, guys. The Austrian Grand Prix in a manner. This is going to be interesting. Still shocked at P6, but... The low downforce did help us with the low fuel, but with the with obviously a full tank in the car, we're going to be having some issues. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be difficult for the opening half of the race, but maybe when the when the fuel burns, it may help us at the end. But it's a free stop strategy, as you can see. Two options and a prime. So I may s twist the strategy up a bit and do a prime stint in the middle part of this race and then jump on to this. So we're on to the grid now. The revs are building. The Austrian Grand Prix is away here and we get a poor start with a lot of wheel spin there. But Bottas gets past us around the outside and up to P6. Ricardo's got past Massa and uh, is up to P8 on there as we get a pretty okay start, I've got to say, after all that happening. Bottas got ahead of us, so we lose a position, unfortunately, to P7 on there. But we're going to come up now towards the hairpin of turn two and just see Magnussen still holding on to P4. I'm still shocked that Magnussen's qualifying performance, but we're still holding off Ricardo, who has got, I believe, Massa behind him now on the inside. He's trying to make a pass. He's going around the outside now, as you can just see in the mirror on the bottom left of your screens. And he can't get it done, I'm afraid, as he Ricardo holds on to P8. But we're still in P7, doing pretty well, I've got to say, during this um, first opening lap of the Austrian Grand Prix. But as I said, tire wear is going to be a factor around here because we've got really high temperatures with it being clear and absolutely gorgeous for racing here. You can get some suntan cream on and get a nice tan. But as you can see, the pack is starting to slowly pull away from us here. Bottas uh, and Magnussen, who's starting to hold up. I believe that is a Ferrari of uh, Sebastian Vettel on there. And I will apologise as well in advance if you see any freezes in this recording. I had some issues with the recording software and uh, I couldn't really help fix the problem. So I do apologise in advance if anything happens here. Uh, but we're going to the end of lap two, and as you can see, we're already onto the back of Magnussen and Bottas as Rosberg sets a 111-1. One. 
as we set a 1.12.6 so one and a half seconds isn't too bad off the Mercedes pace so I'm very happy with that as Bottas down the inside he goes on from Magnussen but Magnussen holds it round the outside and holds on to P5 but we've got a beautiful run here as does Daniel Ricciardo behind as you can just see he's going to try and make a move but we're going to dive the inside on Valtteri Bottas and also Kevin Magnussen I feel no he closed the door on us there but we still gain a position on Bottas and we move up to P6 with the DRS as well which will help us a lot down the straight but as you can see the Williams of Bottas is right on us here as he's going to try and go around the outside of us into turn three and he's going to get it done we hold the inside but that Williams has got really good traction out of the corner and he's now side by side with ourselves going into turn four and he's going to get it done he does indeed and Bottas regains sixth place as Massa got past Ricardo as well who moves up to P8 so all topsy-turvy here at the start of the Austrian Grand Prix here lots of action in this mid pack but as you can see from the rest of the field they're starting to pull away on there so lap four we go and we're only six tenths of a second behind Bottas who's, who's gone down the inside of Magnussen and finally gets the move done but he just doesn't because Magnussen holds it off again but Bottas has got that straight line speed in the, with the Williams compared to the, to the Lotus there of the Renault sorry as uh, Massa's going to try and go around the outside of us into turn two but just can't get it done as we take a very tight line in the hairpin and Bottas goes up to P5 with a brilliant move on there as we've got DRS now and Magnussen who sadly does not have any so this could be a chance to take him into turn three as we're going to be breaking really late into the corner have a bit of a lock up down the front line but we get it done and move up to P6 there's Magnussen's made contact with I don't know who that was but I think it might have been a slight contact from Massa which caused a pile up I don't know what happened there, but Magnussen's great start has just gone down the toilet and has dropped down the field to most likely last place here. But we're on to lap five, and we just made a little bit of a mistake there as we've got all we've got Felipe Massa all over the back of us here. As we get a very poor exit out of that corner, as we're coming to the penultimate corner of the pit entry, as Mag uh, Massa's going down the inside of us, we're going to try and hold it around the outside of that corner. We do it nicely as well and maintain sixth position just about but Massa's going to have the traction and the DRS down the main straight he's going to make a move down the inside of us and we sadly drop to P7 on there but we're going to try and hold it get back on him getting a beautiful exit out of the corner as Lewis Hamilton did in the real life Austrian Grand Prix here which did uh, pass uh, Nico Rosberg in controversial uh, circumstances on there but Massa holding us off here with the straight line speed of that Williams and we're just going to try and go around the outside of him there but just the line was too tight and we lose out there but we get the DRS so maybe just a sniff we could maybe get past Massa down the straight but the answer to that is no and as you can see Massa's already pulled a gap on us even with DRS we cannot catch up to him but now we've got to think about Daniel Ricciardo behind us in that red ball are we going to try and hold him off that is the question we're going to go into lap 7 now as you can see Massa's slowly gone there but our tyres are starting to go off quite dramatically as we just lost a bit there just not missing the apexes completely as we touch the curb there just nearly go off into the gravel there so we're looking to avoid that as Ricardo is going to try and go down the inside of us into the final penultimate corner and we just make slight contact with Ricardo but he gets it done and moves up to P7 so the AI I've got to say in this are very good I've got to say as we get the DRS now and here comes Jody and Palmer as well down the inside of us into before turn one and he moves into P8 so we've lost two positions in the space of two corners but we get pushed off by uh, Palmer and have to take the uh, escape uh, the Astro turf and we get back P8 and the stewards will be looking into that so we have to see if that we do get a penalty but on lap 8 the next one the tyres are just completely gone on the rears and we drop all the way down to 15th place and that just gave me the sign we need to pit this time so we're going to be now strolling into the pit lane uh, we go as uh, we're going to be now coming round the corner now and we just missed the pit entry line completely and I hope that is a new is a feature in this uh, F1 2016 game I really do hope it is they have um, you've got to do manual pit entry and all that you've got to get your speed down so I hope that you have that line, uh, rule where if you cross if you don't you don't basically take an invalid entrance then you should get penalised or whatever but it's a 2.3 stop from the Manor Boys and we are out uh, away and we're going to be coming out in uh, 18th place as Magnussen pitted as well behind us so he's uh, caught up actually I've got to say you've got to give props to Magnussen for catching up with the pace after his uh, incident with Massa and co on there but we're on to lap 9 now of this race and uh, we're going to see if we can get some pace here and see if we gained any positions or lost any during the pit stop windows a lot of people 
coming out of the pit lane, so this is going to be interesting. Come out there, and there's Felipe Nasser as we go past him, and we're up to 15th place. So we are around about where we were before we pitted, but we've got a beautiful run on Jensen Button, who's just come out of the pit lane as well in that McLaren Honda. So I really want to get past Button as quickly as possible. And uh, we can just see Max Verstappen trying to make a move on someone. But we've got a beautiful run now. We've got the slipstream as well on Button. And Arrow won't be happy with that move, as uh, I think a lot of Jensen Button fans will. But we go past them and we move up to P14. So we're starting to make some ground now, which is what I wanted. As we're going to go on to lap 11, as we're right on the back now of Verstappen, who's been held up by Sergio Perez. As uh, I think that was Carlos Sainz coming out the pit lane uh, for 14th place. As we're going to try and go now round the outside up towards turn two on Max Verstappen as uh, Perez breaks really early for the corner so we have to counter that and try and hold it around the outside of Verstappen who has a bit of a moment it seems and we still get past him and move up to P12 so we did pretty well there now we've got DRS on Perez and are we going to try and do a cheeky late move here we do indeed as Perez broke a little bit early leaves the door open on the inside at turn three and we move up to P11 so we're only one position behind where Pascal Verlein got in real life in the Austrian Grand Prix a few weeks ago. So can we do better than that? That's the question. We've just been given a warning for extending the track, which I do think that's legit, so I kind of apologise to anyone who's a massive fan of the whole strict rules and stuff on this game. Uh, on there. So Daniel Kvyat next to the Toro Rosso ahead of us here. So we have to see just a bit of a lock-up on the front left there, just pushing us a tad wide on there. But we get the DRS now on Kvyat as we go on to lap 13 and I'm going to try and go down the inside of Kvyat before turn 1 leave a bit of space with him but he leaves a lot of space there into turn 1 and we move up into the points paying position in 10th place so I was quite happy with the pace there as we're going to be going now up towards the hill towards uh, lap 17 and this is where I was going to go into the pit lane but we just had a very poor line there as you can see but we get it nicely done there but again with the whole pit entry thing I think they need to implement a rule there. If you guys want to see that, then let me know in the comments below. That would be fantastic. And then, but I should have most certainly got two penalties there. I, in real life, I would definitely get them. But in the game, it doesn't give you that. So a bit disappointed with that, with the realism there. But anyway, we're going on to the primes now. We're doing a bit of a different strategy now with these tyres. Uh, it's another 2.3 stop, which is good. And we're going to pop out, I think, in 12th place there. We've got Sergio Perez now coming through Turn 1. And are we going to get ahead of Perez? That's the question. And Alonso as well, who are actually fighting for position, as you can just see there. So this is going to be interesting going up the hill. And are we going to hold off Perez and Alonso? Give Alonso a bit of a cheeky slipstream to help him try and hold off uh, Perez. But the answer to that question will be no, as Perez holds the inside of turn two and moves up to P13. And, the, and Alonso is actually still fighting with Perez side by side. So props to McLaren and their car with this mod. So I have to see if Alonso did hold him off but we have to wait and see on there so we've gone to lap 28 now as uh, everyone's made their pit stops now we just have a massive lock up their moment there very scary moment from us there but we're going to go on to lap 28 now as you can see we have a massive drift now and for the first time this race we actually get the pit entry spot on only just about though even with the drift we had on there with the tyre squeal but luckily we're going to be going now onto the super soft tyre the option compound for our final pit stop of this race and we will be quicker than the rest of the pack as they are all going to be on the prime tyres right now we just went with an alternative strategy and see if this works out we're in P8 at the minute but Perez goes past and moves to P8 Verstappen's coming up as well so it's going to be interesting if we can hold off Max Verstappen and the answer to that is we just about do so we can maybe get a bit of wheel spin there but Verstappen's got the great exit and traction out of the corner and will go past us it seems as we go up towards turn two, Verstappen's going to get DRS as well for the DRS activation zone, which is just after this corner. As we hold him off for now, it's going to be very close to see how this goes throughout the remainder of this race. We've only eight laps to go, uh, sorry, seven laps to go in this race. As we come to that point now, as we're trying to do everything we can, we break really late for the corner. My first proper mistake of the race manually as uh, we lose out to Verstappen and just about hold on to 10th place from Kvyat who's coming right on us at this point but that was a big mistake from us there we tried to break as late as possible but it didn't really work out there but with 7 laps to go now as you can see Max Verstappen is right in front of us now we, he is on the prime tyre so we're going to do everything in our power to try and get past him and build the gap just in case if our tyre starts to degrade quite quickly and we hold on to P8 because I think P8 is going to be realistically where I'm going to be finishing 
But we've got the DRS, we're going to go down the inside, we set a new PB as well. And we're down up into 8th uh, place, passing Max Verstappen brilliantly into turn 1 there. Be the best of the late breakers. And we will now try to hunt down Daniel Ricciardo, which has seemed pretty unlikely. It seems as Verstappen's actually not given up yet. He's going to try and go down the inside of us there, so we've got to give him the space. We go very wide there, and we've got to come back on the track safely and give Verstappen space, who has DRS as well, who had poor traction as well. Obviously, he is on the primes and we're on the super softs. The super softs obviously get better traction out the corners, but Verstappen's in the red ball considerably quicker than us in the manor. So we're going to have to push every boundary to try and hold on to uh, Max Verstappen. And the answer to that question is we do indeed, as we built the gap throughout the last few laps of the race, as they're on to the last lap of the race now, and the gap, as you can see, is quite considerate, considerate to be around about four or five seconds as Nico Rosberg has already won the race as we got towards turn two. That's how dominant the Mercedes are around this track. Props to Rosberg for winning. You should, you uh, was unfortunate not to win in Austria, but he did do some dirty driving, I must say. Uh, on there, but we're going to be in lean as you can just see there, we're on optimal fuel and our fuel lights flashing, so we've got to think about trying to save as much fuel as possible in this race, and it seems we're going to be stuck in 8th place, we've only had one retirement as well, which is quite good to see out of 20 runners, so I'm very impressed with that with the AI, just turning in a bit too early for the corner there, but we're just being very conservative now, we've got plenty of fuel now as well in this last few couple of corners of this race, 14 seconds is the gap to Ricardo. The gap behind is around about six, five seconds uh, at this point. But we're going to be now coming into the penultimate corner and we're going to pull off a better performance than Pascal Verlein did in real life. We will be in P8, a brilliant drive from us in this manner. I don't know how we pulled it off with the pile of crap that we got with the brakes and the lack of downforce as well, even with lower downforce in the straight lines, uh, in the straight line sections. But Pascal Verlaine will be extremely happy with that performance on there. And let's look at the final results then of this Austrian Grand Prix. And Nico Rosberg wins it by uh, 6 at 0.8 seconds from Lewis Hamilton, with Reichland dropping to P3, uh, 16 seconds off the pace, with Valtteri Bottas in 4th, with Sebastian Vettel in 5th, Felipe Massa in 6th, Ricardo 7th, us Pascal Verlaine in 8th, Max Verstappen in 9th, and Daniel Kvyat in 10th with him being the last man as well on the lead lap as Sainz and Button and Co, the rest of them, all retired from the race. Uh, not retired from the race, a lap down, sorry, as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little special video for you guys. If you want to see another one, let me know in the comments below what track you want me to drive next in the manor, and I will get that up for you guys. If we hit 50 likes, I will immediately do another challenge in the manor with this car. And if you want to see it live as well, let me know in the comments below as well. The feed, more feedback, the better on there but i'm gonna end it there guys make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video as well but until next time guys to my next video have a great day and i shall see you guys very soon until then see you later guys